Hi everyone! This is Sir O, your teacher once again. So today you are going to learn the application problems involving quadratic equations. So what are we waiting for? Let's go and jump to our computer! So in this session, we will solve problems involving quadratic equations. And of course, we will be applying the different methods that we have learned in the previous session. In the study of problems involving quadratic equations, you will encounter different types of problems. So let us start with a number problem. Example number one says, find two numbers whose sum is 13 and whose product is 40. Now, it's very important to take note that to solve problems like this, we have to get the information in the problem. So, in this problem, it's given that the two numbers, we are looking for two numbers, that the sum is 13. So, by this information alone, we can already say that x is our first number. Now, since the sum is given, which is 13, what we are going to do is just we subtract the first number, which is 13 minus x, that would give us our second number. It is also given in the problem that the product is 40. So if we are going to multiply them, so the product should be 40. So what we are going to do here is to simplify our equations. So first is we just distribute x to each term inside the parentheses. So we have x times 13, and next is x times negative x. So we have 13x minus x squared is equal to 40. Now since our quadratic term is negative, so we will transpose this entire expression to the other side of the equation for us to make it positive. So we have x squared minus 13x plus 40 is equal to 0. Now since this is already in the standard form of quadratic equation, so we can make use of factoring. So what we are going to do is we will look for two numbers that the product is positive 40, and when we add those two numbers, the sum is negative 13. Of course, that is x minus 8 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. Why? Because negative 8 times negative 5 is positive 40. And if you add negative 8 and negative 5, since they have similar sign, the, the sum is negative 13. Equating them both to 0, and we'll start with x minus 8, when we transpose, that becomes positive 8. And if you transpose negative 5, of course, that would give you x is equal to 5. So let us check if the values are correct. According to the problem, the sum of two numbers is 13. Now, if you add 8 and 5, that is 13. The next is this product of two numbers is 40. So if you multiply 8 times 5, that is 40. If you have some questions, you can always write it in the comment section. I will be happy to answer them. Question number two is actually an example of an each problem. So for us to do this and to solve this matter, of course what we are going to do is we will analyze and get those information that would help us solve our problem. With this, Princess is five years older than Akea. By this information alone, we can say that our x is the Achaia's age because what has been described in the problem is princess is five years older than Achaia. So therefore, princess age is x plus 5 because five years older than Achaia. And Achaia is x. And of course, we can also uh, get information which is four years from now and five years ago. So this information, we will use that one in a table. Now, I want you to study the table itself. So if you notice at present, x is Achaia's age and princess is x plus 5. So when we say four years from now, so four years from now should be addition. 
So from x, we add 4. While princess since x plus 5, so we just add it by 4. And we say 5 years ago, it's 5 years ago, so that is x minus 5 and x plus 5 minus 5. So I hope you understand our table because this table will help us solve our problem. So since in the given also that we know that the product of princess age 4 years from now and Achaeus age 5 years ago is 51, so we'll just have to multiply them. Why x plus 9? Because x plus 5 plus 4, 5 plus 4 is actually 9. This is the age of princess 4 years from now. Another one is Achaeus age 5 years ago. So x minus 5 because 5 years ago is equal to 51. So we will apply FOIL method in this equation. That would give us x squared plus 4x minus 45 is equal to 51. So since this is not yet equated to 0, so we will transpose 51 to the other side. So we have x squared plus 4x minus 45 minus 51 equals 0. Negative 45 and negative 51 are actually similar terms. So we can combine them as x squared plus 4x minus 96 is equal to 0. Now, this is already in a quadratic equation in standard form. So we can use factoring. So what we are going to do here is we look for two numbers that the product is negative 96 and when you add them, the sum is positive 4. Of course, that is x plus 12, x minus 8 equals 0. Why? Because 12 times negative 8 is negative 96 and 12 minus 8, since they are unlike sign, we will subtract. 12 minus 8 is positive 4. Equating them both to 0, and we'll start with x plus 12 equals 0. When you transpose 12, that is negative 12. And when you transpose negative 8, that gives you x is equal to 8. So we will just get x is equal to 8 because there's no such thing as a negative age. So we have Achaeus age, which is represented by x, which is 8. And princess age is represented by x plus 5. So x, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Problem number 3 is actually an example of a work problem. Again, it's very important that you have to identify the different information given by the problem because those information can actually help us in our problem. Kelly and Cedric can finish painting a wall in 2 hours. If Kelly can finish working alone, three hours longer than when Cedric does it by himself. By this information alone, we can summarize actually a table. Uh, Kelly, if you notice here, Kelly painting alone takes three hours longer than when Cedric. By this information, we know that Cedric can finish painting a wall in X hours. Now in the rate, Cedric in one painting job he can finish this one in x hours. While Kelly is x plus 3 because 3 hours longer. So in the rate, in one painting job, Kelly can finish this one in x plus 3 hours. But in the given uh, information in the problem, when Cedric and Kelly is working together, they can finish the painting a wall in two hours. That is why the rate is one half. One painting job, if both of them are working, they can finish that one in two hours. Now in the problem we are asked, how many hours will it take Kelly or Cedric 
working alone. So what we are going to do is we will identify how many hours can Kelly or Cedric can finish the job. So if you notice, if we are going to add together the rate of Cedric and Kelly, that is equal to one half. Now what we are going to do here is we will simplify our expression. By the way, this is an example of a rational algebraic expression or equation rather. So what we are going to do here is we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by the LCD. And the LCD is the entire denominator which is 2x times x plus 3 because that's x and 2 as well as x plus 3. It is multiplied in both sides of the equation. So multiplying this, we have the uh, LCD which is 2x, x plus 3 multiplied by 1 is of course the result is the LCD all over x plus the same the LCD multiplied by 1 is the result is the LCD all over x plus 3 is equal to 2x times x plus 3 all over 2. Now, if you notice here, we can cancel x, and here we can also cancel x plus 3, and here we can cancel 2. So, what is left now is 2 times x plus 3 plus 2x is equal to x times x plus 3. To continue, of course, what we are going to do is we are going to simplify this equation. So what we are going to do first is we distribute 2 to each term inside the parentheses, while x here we will distribute to each term inside the parentheses. So we have 2x because 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2x is equal to x times x is x squared and x times 3 is 3x. Now, if you notice here, what we are going to do is we will transpose this expression to the other side of the equation to equate this to 0. So, we have x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 minus 2x is equal to 0. So, we have similar terms here already highlighted. So, we have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Because 3x minus 2x minus 2x is negative x. Now, since this is already in the standard form of quadratic equation, we can just simply use factoring. So, x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. We will look for two numbers that the product is negative 6 and their sum is negative 1. Kasi may imaginary number here. So we have x minus 3, x plus 2 equals 0. Why? Because negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 3 plus 2, unlike sign, so we subtract them, that is negative 1. Equating them both to 0 and simplifying them, we have negative 3, if we transpose them, that is x is equal to 3, and when you transpose 2, x is equal to negative 2. So we will get only x is equal to 3 because there's no such thing as a negative sign. So therefore, Cedric can finish the painting job in 3 hours because that is represented by x and the value of our x is 3. So while Kelly is represented by x plus 3, so x is 3, so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 hours. Question number 4. Question number 4 is actually question number 17 in 2019 Metrobank MTAP Deep Ed Bond Challenge. Now again, to solve this kind of problem, it's very important that we will identify the different information given by the problem. So in this problem, a rectangular garden is 9 meters by 11 meters. So by this information, we can already illustrate uh, the figure as 
assuming that this is our rectangle or rectangular garden brother so the dimension is 9 meters and 11 meters so another given information here is that a pathway of uniform width will be constructed around this garden forming a larger rectangle so we have like this so meaning to say we are looking for a pathway this one this is the pathway of the rectangular garden with a uniform width okay so forming a larger rectangle so what we are looking here is this x with red line because this should be a uniform width so that the pathway is provided that the area is 120 square meters. So we have now a new dimension because there are 2x here, 2x plus 11, and we have also 2x here, so 2x plus 9. So to solve this problem, we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now, since in the problem, the area is 120 square meters, so we just substitute 120 to A and the length and the width. So simplifying this further by using FOIL method in this side of the equation, so we have 120 is equal to 4x squared plus 40x plus 99. Equating this to 0, so we will transpose first 120 to the other side. That would give us 4x squared plus 40x plus 99 minus 120. Now since these are similar, so we will combine them first and that will give us 4x squared plus 40x, 99 minus 120 is negative 21 equals 0. Now since this is already in the standard form of quadratic equation, so we can factor this out. So the factors of this is 2x minus 1, 2x plus 21. Weighting them to 0 and simplifying them, so we have x is 1 half and x is negative 21 over 2. So we will just get x is equal to 1 half because there is no such thing as negative value for distance. So in other words guys, therefore, the uniform width that we are looking for is actually 1 half meters or 0.5 meters. Thank you for listening well. Hi once again, I hope you learned something from our discussion today. And if you do, please do like and please do share this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please click that notification bell for you to be updated with my next tutorial. Keep safe guys!